Hey guys, it's Billy Everything. Today I'm going to show you how you can replace your AC control panel with one that has LED lights all around. Let's go. So first what we need to do is remove this little piece and please take note that if your car has the lighting option which will give you uh, a light right here then this method will work for you uh, if your car does not have the lighting package um, then this will will not work for your car you're gonna have to do some uh, retrofitting with wires we're just gonna put it in and take it out like that Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take the front panel off. Now, if you've never taken this piece off before, this might seem a little intimidating, but I guarantee you it's not as hard and harmful as you think it is. This thing is actually pretty strong. Let me show you how it's done. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna take a trim tool, and shove it in this corner and just turn. That came out. Turn, turn. Just like that. Be patient. This whole piece should come off. Next thing we will disconnect this connector right here. This one actually pops out. So if you want, you can pop it out first, then disconnect it. A few moments later. Actually, for the purpose of this, we do not need to remove the connectors. You can if you want, it's gonna make things easier. But if you're having a hard time and you just don't wanna bother with it, go ahead, have another person hold it for you or tape it uh, to somewhere, just get it out of the way. We're going to primarily be working right here. Next, we can see there is four T20 Torx screws right here, 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 and here. Go ahead and unscrew them. So now this piece comes off easily. Um, you can disconnect these connectors as well. That's going to make uh, the next step easier. Although if this isn't working with you and it's not coming off, they can stay there. That is fine. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece. You can pro you can maybe see that this outer shell is hollow, and we really we are really just keeping these uh, middle pieces right in here. And to take them out, we're gonna take a piece of trim tool, and we're just gonna find where the tabs are. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so as we can see, there's four uh, clips up here. Uh, the trick is to release the entire front end first and just push that side out as hard as far out as you can so that this entire side is out and then work on this side. 
So now we have this piece out. Let's work on uh, this one. Same thing, there is four clips up top. And this one came out too. So it's going to be the same thing. Work uh, the top ones first and then work the bottom ones. Okay, now that we have this is taken out, we don't need this anymore. Go ahead and grab our new one. And insert the top. Piece, inside the top piece now right here uh, when we insert this piece back uh, we have to make sure there is a little track right here that is supposed to match the original track right here uh, just make sure you align that because sometimes it tends to not go in Okay, I think that looks all good. And the bottom piece. Okay. And just like that, that one is popped in as well. This one is going to be more straightforward and easier than that one. There's, you know, you don't, there's not a small, tiny track that you need to uh, watch out for. So now, uh, our last step is we're going to do some wiring. Uh, it's all laid out for you, very simple. You know, you don't need to cut any wires. Uh, old uh, piggyback system. So, let me move this out of the way. We can see right here, we have the power connection to this uh, light that I was talking about earlier. We're going to unplug that and put this back here. It's actually removable. And we're going to plug this to the female end of our new LED panel to give it power. And then it can share some power with the car's um, light back there. So that light will still come on. Okay, yep, I think that's plugged in. Let's uh, turn the car on and see if it worked. Oh, uh, the light is on and this light is also on. So everything is good to go. Now we just need to put everything back together. Everything is put back and let's see the finished pr product. There is two colors. 
uh, available. So if I go to my car settings in the iDrive, if I go to lighting and change the ambient color to the other color. Oh, what to car play? The color changes with this as well. Now this is the color that would match uh, the light strip that's underneath uh, your door to the side. And the brightness changes with the system as well. As you can see, I can make it brighter. Now I actually like the blue better, so I'm going to switch that back. Um, but yeah, this is how you do it. Uh, like and subscribe if you like my content. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.